Good day from Kamakura, Japan, on this Wednesday, April 6th. 14 degrees outside, slightly cool, but not so bad. It's a beautiful morning, a little bit cloudy, but that's okay. Well, I'm impressed by the Frisia. It's doing very well. Nearly full bloom. It's a beautiful scent coming from it, too. These tulips are just divine. Look at that. Beautiful. And more over here. Look at that. Very nice. Very nice. Okay. All of our starts seem to be doing pretty well. And everything looks pretty good. Pretty good. Let's say you spun. Over here. Very nice. Still have some blossoms on the cherry tree. They will probably fade by weekend. Okay, today's project is the netting. Over here where I strung up this net last year for the string beans. And I'm, I think I'm going to move this over to the other side, because it's nice and wide. And I wasn't able to use all of it last year, but I think I can use the whole width of it over on the other side. So I'm gonna pull out these uh, little hooks here and get to work. So first of all, I need to remove these hooks here. There we go. Yeah, what are these called? Uh, what are they called? U-hooks or U-nails or something like that. It's pretty easy to get these out, luckily. You put them in too deep. That was simple enough. <laughs> okay, they're anchored here with these uh, bricks here. Okay, so I think I'm going to try to attach it up here and have the netting come out this way. And I'll anchor it down here.
So, so far, so good. I like the looks of that. Bring this down pretty far. Now, I need to attach them to the anchors. Well, I made a huge mistake this morning when I went to record the time lapse. I didn't put it on the time lapse mode, I left it on video mode. So, I recorded an hour and 43 minutes of video and not time lapse. And it tried to upload to the cloud, and <laughs> so I maxed out the storage on my iPhone. And I'm using my iPad today. Hopefully, that will clear up by the time I'm done with this project. <laughs> ah, boy, can't win for losing, huh? Alrighty. Tie these to the anchor. Okay, so that looks good. Okay, I'm liking it, but uh, I'm going to have to put my thinking cap on and uh, come up with something here. And something I want to do here is to make room for the golden trumpet bush, the yellow trumpet bush. Get rid of these dead branches. And we have a new one here. I just brought it over the winter. Yeah, I think this will be a wonderful spot for it. It's up off the ground, it's out of the way. It's at a pretty good height. Yeah, I think that will work. So, like I say, I'll get back to this and think of a a nice canopy system here. But I think that's going to work. This monkey's taking a break. <laughs> Let's go down and see how the lower garden is doing. Yeah, I think Anise mentioned how perilous my steps look. <laughs> they can be. I've never tripped or fallen. Almost. <laughs> but uh, I've been lucky. Okay, the spunky gate. Alrighty, everything's looking good. The blueberries. Carrots. And the tomatoes. Looks as if everything is taken very well. Butternut squash. Everything looks fine on this side. And I'll come in here soon and clear away the daffodils. They're done for the season. And the potatoes have responded nicely. And you can see here some more things are starting to come up. Everything in here looks pretty good. So, hope this puts on a nice display as it did last year. That was very nice. So on Sunday when it was raining all day, I took the time to go into the kitchen and make some coleslaw. Take a look. Well, on this cold and rainy Sunday, I thought I'd made some coleslaw from cabbages that I grew out in the garden. Okay, so here are the main ingredients. Of course, the cabbage. I'll see if I need both or not. I'm gonna use a carrot, some celery, some green onions from the garden. I have some parsley from the garden, uh, a lemon, some lemon juice. And for the dressing, I'm going to use two types, the standard mayonnaise. This is Japanese mayonnaise. I highly recommend it. This is the QP brand, and it's absolutely delicious. Normally, I would use Dijon mustard, but unfortunately, I don't have any, so I'm going to use just the standard yellow mustard which I will mix with some mustard seed as well. The second one will be a vinaigrette. I'm using olive oil, uh, equal parts of white vinegar and apple cider vinegar, some sugar, and we have some mustard powder, some salt, celery seed, and black pepper. I'm gonna pour the vinegar 
into this pot along with the olive oil. I have a cup of sugar, the mustard powder, a tablespoon of salt, some pepper, and some mustard seed. I'm saving this pepper and mustard seed for the mayonnaise mixture. So I'm gonna turn this on and bring this to a boil. Okay, this is beginning to heat up. And as you can see, it's coming to a nice boil. So what we want is for the sugar to melt and the vinegar and olive oil to amalgamate, to mix together. And that looks very nice, very nice. So that's it for the vinaigrette dressing. So next is the mayonnaise dressing. Here I'm gonna use about a cup and a half. I'm just gonna eyeball it with the mustard here. That's about a tablespoon or so. Using about a tablespoon of the mustard seed. Just a tablespoon or so. Don't wanna mess this up. <laughs> of the apple cider vinegar, and maybe about two. A bit of sugar, about a tablespoon or two of sugar. And here, I have some salt, black pepper, and celery seed. I'm gonna whisk this together. So I probably won't use all of this, but I can store some for later. Oh, it tastes divine. And next, I'm going to add the juice of one lemon. And give this a good whisk. Oh, that's a good consistency. Okay, with that done, I'm going to move on to the chopping of the vegetables. I'm going to shred my carrot. And I'll chop up my celery. I'm going to go ahead and use the leaves as well. Get some nice added flavor. Okay. Green onions. I'm just going to cut these on a diagonal. That's for a prettier presentation. Okay. The parsley. So let's start with the bigger cabbage first. Move these outer leaves and the back stem. Beautiful. And some of these outer leaves. And let's go right down through it. Beautiful. Tickles me to death that I grew this. My first time to successfully grow them. I tried before years ago. This is my first success. So we get rid of the cores here. And yes, I'll put everything into the compost pile. <laughs> Maybe I'll cut it again in half. And we'll just get to slicing here. both halves into this bowl and I'm going to break up any large pieces and I'll add my carrots, my celery, my green onions and parsley. Just add it all in and I want to give this a nice toss and now I'll separate them. Take half from here 
about half, half. Be careful not to use too much. I don't want my coleslaw swimming. So I'll just use those three for now, three spoonfuls. We'll toss this. Let's move this cutting board. It's slippery here. Okay, I think that's fairly well tossed. Okay, again with this here. Don't want to use too much. And we don't want it swimming. Just try to get a really good mixture. Okay, I'm going to stop there. And give this a toss. It tastes even better once it chills. Try this again. Very nice, very nice. Okay, so here we have what I think are two really good, simple coleslaw recipes. Here's the mayonnaise version. Very nice. Not too creamy. But very nice. The vinegar works perfectly. The lemon, the celery seeds, the mustard seeds. Very nice, very nice. And over here, the vinaigrette version. Mmm. Very tangy. Very flavorful. So, it's nice to eat something grown from one's own garden. I'm very happy with the cabbage this year. So, two very good recipes, mayonnaise and vinaigrette. Please give it a try. I'll leave the recipes down in the description box. I hope you're having a good week so far, that you'll have a good rest of the week. And until we meet again, do take care. Thanks for joining me. Bye-bye.